welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this video we are going to replicate our inventory system and also we are going to replicate our animations because as you can see our character is attacking but the server does not see it attacking and also it does not see us equipping clothing so let's uh, replicate this so the first thing what we are going to do is open up our third person character and in the event graph we are going to add two custom events so the first one I'm gonna call server collect equipment and the second one I'm gonna call server equip item and for these we need two inputs so add two inputs the first one is going to be our item data and the second one is going to be our player and the first one needs to be an S inventory type and the second one needs to be an actor type and the same thing for the other function item data S inventory there we go and now for the first event this event needs to be ran on server and the other one needs to be a multicast event like so so what we are going to do now is we are going to go to our equip item and here what we need to do is we need to remove this part and we need to put this in our um, server equipment function so I'm gonna press Control X to move this to cut this and at the end of this instead what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a server collect equipment like so connect all of the pins to this one and we can also delete this one as well so there we go and for the item data we need to connect our item data variable and for the player we need to do a self a reference to ourselves to this third person character so we can compile and save now and now in the event graph we are going to from the first one we are going to do the second one so we're going to do server equip item we're going to connect the item data and the player variable and for this one we are going to do a break from the item data and we are going to do a switch on string and this string selection is going to be our type and we are going to add our types and our types were helmet armor pants and boots there we go and actually before this we could also do a cast to third person character using the player as an object reference like so and now we can paste in our skeletal mesh info we need to delete all of these uh, inputs as well and over here what we need to do is we need to use our skeletal mesh from our item data and connect this to the new mesh like so the execution pins we need to connect every single one to every single one of our nodes like so actually I will move these closer like so and now from our third person character cast we need to get skeletal helmet and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a reroute and I'm gonna get the other ones so get skeletal armor 
Whoops, I got boots. Well, okay. We need boots as well. So get skeletal. <laughs> get skeletal armor. Connect this like so. And get skeletal pants. So connect the pants like so. So that's that. So now we can compile and save. And I will actually comment this and this will be server equip item. Like so. And now I will compile and save. And now if we pick up our items and if we equip them, our server character sees everything that we have equipped. So now we need to unequip the item so that server would see that otherwise the server does not see that and uh, to do that we need to go to our unequip item and over here we again need to remove these nodes right here and reconnect everything like so And uh, now in the event graph, we need two more custom events and I will in advanced paste my nodes in here. And I will do a custom event called server collect unequip. And another custom event needs to be server unequip item. And these need to have the same inputs as well. So first one is item data and the second one is player of a actor type. There we go. And this one needs the same inputs. So item data often s inventory structure and player actor type there we go and over here what we are going to do we are going to run this on server again and this one we are going to multicast and now back in our unequip item once we have done everything from over here we can do our server collect unequip and our item data needs to be actually I don't think we need one because we are simply unequipping an item we need a type which item we are unequipping so let's change this to string and I'm gonna type this type and also over here it needs to be a type so in our unequip item we need to set a type connect our type directly from the input there we go there we go should make a plan next time before I make a tutorial but well I hope you guys can follow along my thoughts and uh, yeah the player needs to be a reference to ourselves so it should look something like this pretty simple actually I was trying to make it more complicated than it is and uh, in the event graph now we can do our server unequip item connect the type and the player and now in here we need to do a cast to third person character using player as an object and we need to do a switch on string from our type and now let's add four pins for our types so the first one was again helmet 
armor armor pants and boots and now we can connect our executions like so there we go and we need to get our skeletals again so this time I will be a bit lazy I will copy all of these from our server equip actually with the whole reroute pin and I will move them over here and just connect them to the targets like so do some adjusting awesome and now I will connect this to our third person character like so there we go now I'm gonna comment the whole thing server unequip item and if we compile and save press play pick up items equip jeans the equip jeans hat everything seems to be working as it should great so we have replicated our clothing system so one more thing that we need to replicate is our animation and this also is not too complicated so back in our third person character here where we have this um, sort of attack function which is not really that big of a function but we are setting this variable um, well I've already done one thing so I'm gonna change this back like it was with you guys so what we need to do is create a new custom event and I'm gonna call this server replicate attack and this event needs to be ran on server and we can connect this to our attack disconnect the false and from the false we are going to server replicate attack run this event which is going to run on server and one last thing we need to select our is attacking variable and we need to say to set the replication to replicated so now if we would compile and save and go to our game we can see that our animation is replicating so great we have replicated our inventory our equipment and our build mode and one of our animations so that's going to be it for this video and in the next video we are going to add some weapons I already have pickups made for the weapon system so this thing is coming in the following videos so see you guys